In this video, we're going to look at two more input types that are slightly more complex. That's why they deserve their own video. We're going to look at checkboxes and radio buttons. So we're going to start with checkboxes here. The input element is still used. We set the type to checkbox, all like normal, like that. But when it comes to checkboxes, if you think of visually how you want them to be, most often the label in this scenario comes after. So let's put it after here. Um, let's make this about dinosaurs, of course, because that's important. Um, okay, so dinosaur, let's call this one Apatosaurus. If I can spell that, for some reason I cannot. All right. So this one is for dinos, dinos. Again, I need to create this really important um, ID and for association between them, because if I don't, it's not actually labeled from a screen reader or accessibility to a point of view. So let's go look in my browser here, see what we get. I'm looking at the wrong one. So this is what we can see here. If I click on the label, you'll notice I can check the checkbox off, or I can check it on and off like that. And we can create a whole bunch of these checkboxes. Like this. Oops, dang. Let's do one more for T-Rex. I just changed the ID and the label here, the for attribute, because I want it to be a little bit more specific instead of just dinos, because that's kind of generic. So let's go test this here and see we have now, we have three different checkboxes and you can check them all off or check them on or off however you want. Let's do one more here. Um, this is the checkbox, that's all there is to it. It's just important really that the label comes after it because that's the way they're, we're most used to seeing it. Now, checkboxes allow you, the purpose of checkboxes is to allow you to check multiple things. The other input that we're going to look at is the radio button. And it's still, again, very similar, except it's input type equals radio, like this, and the label does come after. So let's do your favorite color here. Oh, that should be ID. All right, so I'm going to do three of these. All right, so I've got three radio buttons in here now. If we go look in the browser, radio buttons are the circular ones. And the idea behind radio buttons is not that you should be able to pick all of them. You should only be able to pick one of them, not all three. So right now you can see they're not actually working the way that we want. We want to sort of group them together into their own system in a sense. The way we do that is on all the inputs, we give them all the same name. So let's give them all this, the name of fave color, like this. Now if we refresh, you can see they all work together and only one of them is available to be selected. So the difference between radio buttons and checkboxes is with checkboxes, you should be able to select multiple, but with radio buttons, you should be able to only select one of them. And the way that the radio buttons create that grouping is with the name, like this. So these are all grouped together, but we could just as easily have another bunch of radio buttons down here that are grouped together in another way. So I'll just copy these two. Let's make them something else. So right now you can see they have the same name. It doesn't matter that they're in another div or anything like that, but because they have the same name, these things are all part of the same group. 
But if I want the yes and no to be a different group from the favorite colors, all I need to do is change the name here to something else, like this. Let's change it to agree. Now I have two groups of radio buttons, the first one with the favorite color, and the second one here, which is the yes and no. So far you'll have noticed that I've been putting these into divs, but that doesn't always semantically make the most sense. Ideally, because all these inputs work together, all these radio buttons work together, this here should be changed to a field set like this. Let's change this one here too to a field set. So a field set is just slightly more semantically accurate for grouping important or related uh, fields together. So you can see here uh, I've grouped green, light green, and dark green together and yes and no. But you'll notice like when it comes to these, I've got label for this radio button. Yes, that's green, that's light green, or that's dark green, but why are they there? There's still no sort of question as to what the purpose of all of those things are together. And that's what we have here for a legend. The legend could be something like, do you agree to the terms of use? Or maybe the legend up here would be, what's your favorite color? So now looking at this, you can see I've grouped the radio buttons into this field set. The field set is has a legend of what's your favorite color. So now we know that these are all grouped together under the what's your favorite color sort of label heading. So like this, or the do you agree to the terms of use is checked like yes and no like this. And we can do the same thing for, for the checkboxes if we want, uh, field set. There we go. Now field sets don't necessarily have to be used in this scenario here. We can also use them in other scenarios. One more scenario would be something like uh, an address. Field set like this. I'm just gonna do this really quickly. We're gonna leave the, the labels off, I think, but we could do input for the street address, an input for the city, we could do an input for the country and an input for the postal code. Now, of course, these all need labels. Don't forget that. But here we now have a field set to sort of group these fields together because they're important the way they are as one group. Uh, so we have checkboxes, which we can use with input type checkbox, and we have radio buttons with input type radio. The way we make them work together as one unit, we give them all the same name. Here you can see they all have the same name. And then ideally we want to group all these radio buttons together in a field set. So the, the semantically they're acting as one unit.